Well, Brian, I was at the high school earlier today, and you could really feel the emotion in the air. The loss is being felt in surrounding communities as well, where residents say they are standing behind the students, faculty, and families during this difficult time. It's affecting everyone, our customers, our friends, our families. At the Irisville Country Store in Waitsfield, the tone is somber. I think everyone is just in shock. Laurel, the store manager, remembers Liam Hale from the times he would visit the store. I remember him playing baseball when he was young on the little league team. He was just a fine young man. Liam was one of the five teenagers lost in the fiery crash on I-89 late Saturday night. He and three others went to Harwood Union High School. I wish time could be turned back. As students returned to class for the first time since the crash, they were greeted by two simple but powerful words, Harwood Strong. On Tuesday, volunteer guidance counselors were on hand, helping students cope with the loss. They were all great kids. They were great, great, great kids. Peggy Delaney's daughter is a junior at Harwood, a classmate of the students who died. It's touched every single person who lives here, who's ever lived here. And just like the words on the sign, she says Waitsfield and the rest of the Mad River Valley are standing strong with Harwood. We are a really, really strong community, and we will, which makes it harder, but we will definitely get it, uh, get through it together. We're just happy to be here for anyone that we can be and help. I also saw people from Stowe today who stopped by the school to drop off snacks and to, to comfort students, faculty, and staff. Just an outpouring of support for the school right now during this time of grief. Live in the newsroom tonight, Keel Smith, NBC5 News.